Hey guys, it's Postbox Part and welcome back to the video. And today we're going to be talking about servers in general. Now, in this video, I'm going to be mentioning a few different things about servers and talking about why servers never were what we expected. And especially many of you Xbox players, we didn't expect servers to be like this. Now, we knew that servers were coming from Pocket Edition, but honestly, we didn't expect them to be this bad. We actually have VIP in the game, and I'm actually on it right now on Lifeboats. And let's just mention this at the start of the video. Now, during Lifeboats, I actually had VIP for a short amount of time and now my VIP has disappeared don't know what's happened I don't know what's happened there you can see I have VIP a yo VIP I managed to select my classes and everything and then my VIP disappeared so I wasn't too sure what was happening there and that's really it for VIP I'm not going to go too much in depth about that that's just a little thing that I was trying out a little kind of glitchy thing that's going on but we will talk about that maybe in another video or somewhere else in the future but for now let's talk about servers in general and why they are so messed up and so glitchy and it isn't just a lifeboat server it's every single server now minecraft servers what i wanted was us to be able to have our own server to upload our world to to set our own rules on that have already been preset there and you allow people to join and they follow them rules and the way that would have been done would have been using command blocks or something known as markers from total miner where you could put two blocks in a corner and block out an area from people from mining in it and destroying stuff so people could still join but they wouldn't be able to destroy stuff in that area and that's the way it would work and that's how servers would have worked for myself and that's the way you could make them work in a prison server and things like that now the sort of servers i was looking at personally and what i made my petition towards were servers that were parkour servers mini game servers fun experimental servers where you can join and try out mini games and they were very basic it was simply just joining the server you had a basic spawn and you try and complete the mini game and if you died on the mini game or the challenge or whatever it was you would die and respawn back at the start there was nothing it was just a simple simple game of minecraft parkour prison server whatever you want to call it it was my prison server there was no mining at all it was just simple game where you spawn in and do challenges and they have to complete questions and memory tests and all sorts of cool mazes and things like that mazes parkour really cool stuff that people are really interested in and it just never game became a server and i was expecting that for to be an option realms did appear but honestly realms had no interest in myself i had no interest in realms and honestly realms were not my sort of thing there's no point of buying a realm if i can't even get my world over so let's talk a little bit much more about servers so the game Gameplay you're seeing on screen now is a bit cutty out and cutty in because I was actually busy during the gameplay, but I did have VIP for a short time. A lot of glitchy stuff was going on in this game. You were getting all sorts of glitchy things happening, uh, like my inventory spamming out like that, weird things like that going on, and I also had a lot of inventory stuff later on in the game where you could see bot locks were starting to duplicate. Our actual machine that generates clay or bricks, whatever it is, got destroyed on Bed Wars, and we couldn't play anything. Honestly, things were starting to get really buggy, and it really wasn't looking the way I wanted it to be so you know we have to kind of cope with the servers we've got and I know there's tons of hate videos out there about the servers or I shouldn't say hate videos I should say negative videos towards the better together update and honestly it isn't as bad as you think but it's not what we expected so personally yes this video is kind of one of them hate videos if you want to class it as that i know there's a bunch of youtubers making them at the minute but it's not i'm not hating towards the better together update because technically we have got good servers they just don't run very well uh, these servers would be very well done if they were run professionally and honestly spent a lot more time on the maps and actually getting the game to work the game does not work for example look at all this iron on the floor right now we've got all this iron right now on the floor next to us and my inventory if i could pass by my inventory we're full with iron but we have an empty slot down there who knows what's going on here it's just complete glitches i just got one shotted and again i've still got all the stuff in my inventory so it's probably one of the most buggiest things i've ever played uh, the servers are extremely buggy let alone the actual pure game that's pretty buggy as well and it should really be still in beta the servers should be in beta the game should be in beta they rushed the game out someone at microsoft did rush the game out clearly they were like we need this version out now people are getting desperate for it get the version out now and obviously the idea of getting the version out now didn't go down too well because it didn't turn out very well at all as we know because we're playing it and it just doesn't feel like minecraft it feels like it's at least two years behind or whatever you'd like to say yes 4j studios now let's move on to that 
hundreds of people have been commenting on videos saying, I wish 4J's server system was in it. I wish 4J's this, 4J that. 4J did not have servers on mini games. Mini games were hosted off your own host connection. Anyone wondering that? Did mini games have servers? There were servers on the old one. There were never servers on the old version of Minecraft, the console edition. There never has been servers. There were never will be, and there never was. Mini games was not servers. It was a way of joining someone's host game, which technically is a server because you are hosting it. So you are being the host for the server, but you're not on an official server or anything like that. You are having your own private server, like a private game type thing where people are joining. And that's the way it works, which means 4J did not have to invest in any servers. Whereas the Better Together version, that is actually run off official servers. These lifeboat games you're connecting to are an official version of the game on a server where we all connect to. Now, the downside to having no servers is obviously mass people can't join and you have that limited. But the downside to having servers is it's very, very buggy. So we got all these ups and downs. I'm not really going to go over the ups. We'll stay with downs only. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the idea of having a host connection. Now, this is a very good idea. This is how Total Miner did it. They allowed 24 players to connect to your game on the original version of Total Miner. And they could spawn wherever they like on wherever you set their spawn point to be. Or the world spawn point or whatever you want to do. And they'd complete challenges and stuff. They send you a message once they complete them and you put them on the board. Simple as. That is what I wanted in the Better Together update. I wanted to have an option where not just friends can join, anyone can join. I think that's what we need. We need to have an option where anybody in the entire world connect to your game even if you're not friends with them and that's what made total minor total minor made it very good with the rating system as well now obviously having anyone connect is very interesting but don't have chat available chat in-game chat posting around is a disaster waiting to happen so much stuff can happen in the chat that people say and stuff you can get around so much and honestly it's just not worth having chat there should be an option to create a server or create a lobby where people can go and join if they're not friends of you and be able to disable chat Ch disabling chat is something that we need access to as creators we don't want having their your end or yourself or their end or whatever you want to say the other people who play minecraft other than myself all your views we don't want you guys having an option to disable chat or having to look for an option to disable it we want an option so you can just press us as the server host disable chat boom or an option on the home screen for you guys which goes options disable chat boom we don't want to be searching for disable chat or typing in certain things to disable chat it's just irritating and honestly it never goes down too well. I just hate typing in chat and all of you hate typing in chat and it's just, uh, you know, the servers itself and the idea of servers has been gone now. My petition that I made a very long time ago, which I've mentioned in the last few videos actually, I thought, you know what, we actually have a chance for this. Petition did well, YouTuber, uh, read the petition and said, oh, no, 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 this is never going to happen. We're never going to need servers. We don't need this. Never going to happen. Or oh, not going to program. Uh, blah, yeah, we, we, we post what's Pat, you've uh, really messed up here. You're not writing much. That was quotes. This is just me doing an example of a certain YouTuber. Uh, he's like, oh, post what's Pat, uh, you know, you're just wasting your time here. Negative feedback for 4J. Next day or next or next week, should I say, oh, look, E3's around the corner. Oh, what's happening? Oh my, servers for Minecraft, that YouTuber's all over it. Server, server, ding, 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 ding. Oh wait, what was my petition about the week before? We need servers, ding, servers, boom. Boom, <laughs> you get where I'm coming from. Servers weren't here from me. I didn't bring servers to it, but I wanted servers. And in that email or in that petition, I described how I wanted servers and how all of you who signed it, who read it and signed it, however many of you did that, which was 500 plus, when you read that petition, you saw how I wanted the servers to be. I did not want the servers to be like the way they are now. The servers the way they are now is not that enjoyable. I had VIP and I lost it. I had things, skins, things like that, I lost it. I have blocks in games, I lose them. I have so much stuff on these servers that just disappear. Everything about the servers is just super glitchy. I can fly around and stuff using VIP, even though I didn't have VIP, but I did have it. I don't know what was going on, but... Uh, glitchy as i'm happy if they give me vip back though because that means technically i have vip for free <laughs> for free like i said i wasn't going to say this at the start of the video but for all of you watching the entire thing you now know that i didn't have vip but i did have it but i didn't pay for it i had it and didn't pay so hopefully i can get it back i don't know what happened it just gave me it so maybe i'll get it again who knows i've tweeted them 
It's worth trying. You might get it for free. You never know. So free VIP would be cool, and I will make a video on that if that does happen. But yeah, VIP, cool thing, not that cool. We'll have to decide. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. VIP, waste of money, not worth it if you are not getting it for free. Honestly, they're just making you pay to get shortcuts and move around the map quicker and have XP boost, in-game advantage, things like this. Not the best option at all. I would highly recommend not purchasing VIP. Other than that, I do recommend thinking about ideas that you want to see in servers in the future. Honestly, servers are something that I've had great confidence in for a long time, but honestly, they're just letting me down, especially the Pocket Edition servers. They're just no good. I've always wanted to have an option so we as users can host our world as a server for 25 players plus. I'm not bothered about if it's only 25 players. 25 players on your server trying mini games and stuff would make me pretty happy, and me meaning I'll be able to create a bunch of content for them. But having 100 would be even better. And just having the option to create command blocks, or should I say markers, because that's what they were in a total minor, would be absolutely awesome. Honestly, we've never had this within Minecraft, and I feel like having an option for friends to join who aren't actually friends on your friends list, or people who aren't friends of you at all on Xbox, just seeing your world in a lobby and seeing oh you know what we'll join this guy boom you're in and you're in a challenge course and you know what it is because it'll be called challenge course by postbox bat or whatever and you will join and try out the challenges but that's it for this video that is my rant on servers servers aren't what we wanted them to be or aren't what they are so yeah hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe go and enjoy your time on the servers if you do enjoy your time on the servers that's another question yes i personally do enjoy it a little bit but honestly it's very very buggy and you can't get much out of it so hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe and once again this is postbox pat signing out